If you're anything like me, you're always on the lookout for things that will make your life easier on shoots. Now, you might already know some of these, but I'm willing to bet that you don't know them all. So let's not waste any more time and start with number one. This is dual lock. It's a bit like Velcro, but different. Instead of having a loop side and a hook side, it kind of just locks in itself. It feels sturdier than Velcro and clips together with a super satisfying click. Because it doesn't have that kind of rough side, it doesn't randomly stick to things that you don't want. You get it in a roll like this, and then you just cut it to size and stick it to whatever you want. I have a strip of it on the back of my laptop because upgrading storage on a MacBook is insanely expensive and basically impossible to do after you buy it. So I put a big strip on the back here and then uh, a bit on my SSDs and then it just kind of clips into place so that it doesn't just sort of dangle off to the side. This tabletop is also attached with Duolock because I wanted something that folds away but also looks good. So I just attached a, a desktop to a foldable workbench. That way I'm saving space. The workbench can still be used as a workbench and when I need to film, I just clip on the desktop. On to number two. This small rig multi-tool is perfect for a one-man band filmmaker. I used to carry a bunch of loose Allen keys, but they're easy to lose or leave one behind. This little thing has all the most common bits you need for camera kit, including a bunch of Allen keys, a Torx, Phillips head, and of course, a flathead for all your tripod plate needs. The side here is threaded, so you have somewhere to keep any loose screws. I never found this to be very useful, but aside from that, this thing is fantastic and I bring it with me on every shoot. As always, you can find links to everything I mention in the description down below. Number three, bongo ties. Not to be confused with loom bands, this rubber band with a piece of bamboo at the end will change the way you think about filmmaking. Okay, maybe not, but they're super useful when you need to tie something in place or keep your cables tidy. Simple, cheap and useful, these things are an absolute no-brainer, so just get some if you haven't already. Number four. This is my favorite one on the list and one you're least likely to have come across. Everyone knows that camera tape is one of the most basic and useful things to always have with you. Whether you're setting down markers or labeling cards or actually taping something in place, you should always bring gaff tape to a shoot. But a roll of tape can be quite big and if you want to bring all your colors, it can quickly fill up your bag. Now you can buy those smaller rolls of tape, but why pay twice when you can do this? It's basically a roll of tape on a metal rod. Now, I've seen a bunch of different ways to do this and if you're in the US, you can actually buy something made specifically for it. But I think what I've come up with here is the best combination of price, availability and ease. This thing here is called a Clevis pin. They come in all sorts of different sizes. The one I have here is 8mm by 60mm. They generally come in packs. Mine came in a pack of 12. So now I have a bunch of spares. The idea here is pretty simple. You take your tape and you just roll some onto here. You can do it manually or use a drill if you're really impatient, but I tend to do mine by hand. Because they come in all sorts of different sizes, you can buy smaller ones for your smaller tape, or you can roll two different colors onto one spool like I did here. For some reason, the smaller ones are taking forever to arrive, so I can't show them to you in this video, but I promise they do exist. So now you have a handy little roll of tape that you can easily throw in your bag, put in your pocket, or even put it on your keychain if you like. It's not really my thing, but I won't judge. Now give this video a like if you didn't know about this trick. On to number five. Can I just say, this is gearing up to be a great video. So most of my lenses are photography lenses, which means that they don't have lens gears and so can't normally be used with a follow focus. You've probably come across one of these before. They're terrible and they should be your last resort. So what are your options here? Well, until recently, my favorites were these little zip tie lens gears. They're slim, universal and relatively cheap at around 16 pounds each. But I found that sometimes they can slip and they're obviously not seamless. 3D printed gears can solve this issue because they're tailor made to the lens, but they're quite expensive. These ones from photofocusgears.com came in at 28 pounds. So what should you do? You should get these seamless follow focus gears from Tilter. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty skeptical about these when I first bought them. 
they're not tailor-made, they just come in a bunch of set sizes. So you measure your lens and then you buy the one that's closest to that size. They're also made of this rubber-like material, but not quite. It's just this kind of flexible plastic. So I thought that they would either not fit properly and be too loose, or you'd have to stretch them onto the lens and therefore the gears wouldn't match your follow focus. But I was completely wrong. The fit is fantastic. There is zero slipping and the gears line up perfectly. So how much are these perfect lens gears? That's the best thing. I got these at three pounds each. So I'm about to get them for all my other lenses. Every camera op in the UK knows that the best tool for a tripod plate is a 50p coin. But let's be honest, this isn't the 1920s. No one carries cash around anymore and your Boots loyalty card won't be much use with a tight tripod screw. If carrying a multi tool isn't really your thing, I have another solution. This little keychain tripod flathead from Miller. Whack this thing on your keychain and you'll never have to think about it again. This isn't the only option. The one I carry with me is this little thing. I got this with an action cam years ago. Um, the action cam is long gone, but the tool is still here. You probably won't be able to get this exact one, but I'll link all the other ones that you can get in the description down below. That's everything I have for you guys today. Hit the like button if you learned something new. My goal is to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month, so subscribe and hit the bell if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.